I'll just go off your cues. Oh, no. Take a good breath. You don't want you panting like we've been having like crazy hot sex in here. Weep! 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 I love Pepsi Burps and Squawks. Sorry, that probably hurt your ears. No, it's fine. Okay! Since we're recording this already. Oh no! Fine. I swear. Okay. A prime example of vocal tics. <laughs> so I have been seeing um, in the booktube world this new tag called Rip It or Ship It. I will leave links in the description below of other videos that I've seen. But I thought I would play the game with my friend Stacy. Hi! Hi. <laughs> um, and uh, basically is you pick two names out of a, a jar or container or hat or something and you either rip the couple like you can't see them together or you ship it. I'm going to be doing book characters from recent books that I've read and Stacey's going to be doing TV characters because we're going to make things interesting. Because Netflix. So we each have about 10 couples, 11 including one with ourselves, but we each have them in here. I'm going to let you go first. Okay, I have the little flower box from the thrift store. All right, I'm gonna pick up two couples here. All right, first name here is Blair Waldorf. Ooh, from the Gossip Girl. Blair, 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 something girly like that. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Ramsey Bolton. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm gonna. I, I love Blair. Okay, you don't understand. I love Blair. Like, Blair is my girl, my go-to girl. She wanted something, she did something. Oh, Ramsey's kind of like that too now, actually. Um, yeah, but no. Ramsey's psychotic. No. No. Rip, Rip it! it. <laughs> oh, I can't get my hands in here. Okay, one, two. What? All right, so I have, uh, ha, this is hilarious. So I have Sophie and I have Billy, both from Billy and Me, and I have to ship it because they were in the book together. <laughs> it's canon. It's canon. Like, I have to ship it. Okay. Okay, you can go. I'm going to make okay. these. I'm going to shake mine because now I'm a little paranoid, but I don't think I've, yeah. I don't. You have a bigger container than I do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? I have, um. <clears throat> Francis Underwood, uh, it, the House of Cards, absolutely brilliant show. I love I this guy. Seen He's such a hateful character. Is that oh, uh, oh. Um, oh, Kevin Spacey? Spacey? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And Lilith Frazier. From? Frazier. And Cheers. Oh. B.B. Newark. You know, Lilith. Right? Which character is she? She was Frazier's first wife. Oh. Right? Lilith Frazier and uh, Frances Underwood. Uh, I would ship that because she's terrifying. And he is um, a, a crazy president who um, really should be Republican on the show, let's be honest. Okay. <laughs> uh, ship it. <laughs> So I have um, <laughs> Queen Lavana from the Lunar, Col Lunar Chronicles trilogy book series. I forget which how many books are are in that, and I've lost the ability to speak. Um, and Lestat. What um, does she do in the book? Who is she in the book? She oh. is um, Queen of the. Oh, I've read this book like last month. She's basically the Queen of the Moon. Oh. Um, and she is of a different species from humans, so she has like a magical power and um, she's like, she's basically, you remember Sailor Moon? Oh yes. Okay, she's basically Queen Beryl. Okay, <laughs> I only remember just the like character the of Sailor queen. Moon apparently. The evil queen. Okay. <laughs> um, basically she wants to, she wants to go to war with the, the Earth Kingdom. Oh, okay. Basically. Um, Mm -hmm. And she killed her sister and her niece just so she can be queen. Oh! That, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Lestat, ooh, that's a love I'm going to rip this because <gasps> Lestat is my precious. Oh, just because you're mm -hmm. like selfish. Yeah. He would be perfect. He hates the world mm -hmm. too. He doesn't hate the world. He would love a queen of the moon. No, see, he wants to be part of the world. 
I want I want to sing that Disney song right now. <laughs> want to be part of your world. That's all you get. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to rip it because I just know. All right. Let's not deserve someone nice. Mm. Uh, oh, the Dowager Countess of Grantham. Which I wrote, what? I wrote her name on the back. Oh, yes, Violet yes. Crowley. Violet Crowley. What does a week end? Um, and Catherine Janeway from Voyager. Oh my god, do I ever ship this? I, I ship too. this so hard. I have such a lady boner for both of them. Oh, absolutely. They're so amazing. Could you imagine? They're both badass. Hey. Bitches get stuff done. I ship it. <laughs> Shaking, getting new couples. It's a honey pot. It's a honey pot. <laughs> We're getting some honeys out of this. Okay, there's one. And then. Um, okay, so we have Prince Kai from the Lunar Chronicles again. Um, yes, I have to remember. I have two princes in here. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I have Prince Kai and I have Arcturus, Arcturus, the warden from the Bone Season. Um, I don't know about the, the. Tell me. Well, Prince Kai is the heir to the throne of the Earth Kingdom, like the Earth okay. Empire, mm -hmm. um, and he's kind of good. I'm trying to remember. It was last month. And Arcturus is, um, he's not human. He's part of the Rafame, oh. is, which is like in between, um, in the bone season, in the bone season, it's a world of like, there's clairvoyance and, uh, yeah. So it's going into the realm of the ether. Mm -hmm. So they're like mm -hmm. creatures from beyond and they've come here to like take over. Do you think that I have a little um, connection? A little love match? Little because, creature feature. Because out of space. like, the, despite the fact that he's uh, enslaved some humans, I'd ship it. I'd, nah. yeah. I'm kind of indifferent, to be true. Yeah. Like, okay. I'm indifferent to this couple. Right. But I'd ship it. I wouldn't rip it. Alright. Oh, sorry. I apparently don't know how to use my hands. <laughs> I have uh, Kara Thrace uh, and MacGyver. Oh, well, this is just like, oh, this is heaven, right? But Kara Thrace, love her. MacGyver, love him. Not as like a shipping match, but uh, I would, I would hella watch a show with these two. I don't know. I kind of think they would be best friends. Yeah, that's I right. Think. I don't think they're shipping, but I think, or like kind of, you know, he's They'd older. They'd be like buds. Yeah, I think they would be awesome together. Like, um, yeah. Okay, but like Richard Dean Anderson's older now, but back then he was like young. He's still hot. He's still hot. I know he's, he's still hot. So hot. Mm. He's like a silver fox. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, just thinking about the characters, like with the age they would yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. So I think, oh, but I think they'd be like best You know what? Friends. Yeah. Um, ship them as like the best of friends and also, uh, you know, someone picked this show up with these two people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pass over. I'm serious. Pick <laughs> with the actors, that kind of thing. Pick this show up. It will. It will go. All right. So I picked mine too, and I have uh, Selena from Throne of Glass, and I have Cinder from The Lunar Chronicles, and uh, hmm. Selena is an assassin, um, and she was imprisoned uh, for like a year because she got caught. And then she's being released, sort of, to compete in this competition to be the king's assassin. Oh, okay. But the king is the one who, who sent her to prison. Um, so there's that. And Cinder is like, it's from a, it's like a Cinderella retelling. So she's basically Cinderella, but she's a cyborg. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, so, so she's had to be in service of her stepmother because she doesn't have rights because she's a cyborg and not, like, full human. And, you know, she meets the prince and she hides the fact that she's a cyborg. That's, a, like, um, a really fantastic There's other age. things. That's a fantastic game things. you. I, I'd read that. You'd read that? I like I more of the book. <laughs> I would do um, that. There's other things I won't go into because they are spoilerly about her, but, um... They sound like some strong women. I'd ship it. I mean, Selena's badass, and Cinder's kind of, she's, she's getting there. She'll come into her own, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't nice. read, I've only read the first book in both these series, I so. gotta tell ya, I chip it too. I even know them. Alright. Woo! 
Buffy Summers and ah, Mycroft Holmes. I would rip this so hardcore. He is actually like she, he's, he's a alive. watcher. He's actually the the like the top original watcher. watcher, like the the watcher who's so wound up tight that there's. He'd be like secretly just thinking, oh, "This is Sherlock, like BBC Minecraft Holmes." Yes, um, uh, the Mark Gatiss. Uh, the, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. he'd be like in charge of it, but secretly. Don't you remember when she fired all the the watchers? He'd be like, that okay, one guy, you're fired, but I'm still doing this. You know that one guy that... Quentin, you, Quentin yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. I absolutely rip this because Buffy uh, is so awesome. And uh, a female, female hero does arrogant. not need yeah. anyone. My craft nah. is just too arrogant to be a child. Right. Buffy doesn't need anyone. All right, so I have Paige Mahoney from The Bone Season. And Laia, Laia, Laia. I forget how to spell, spell uh, ugh, pronounce her name. It's it's weird, um, but she is from An Ember in the Ashes, um, which is a good book too. Um, they're very similar, because like I said, the Bone Season with the the Refame. And the humans, like, she's clairvoyant and she's, like, one of the most rarest ones. Mm. Or she could, like, dream walk. Um, yeah. Yeah, she can get into someone's head like that. Yeah. Um, and Leia, um, she sells herself into slavery for the resistance in order to get her brother out of jail. Oh. <laughs> I know. Um, I kind of ship it. Yeah. I. You know what? That's a that's a journey. I think they've got a lot of com in common. Yeah. They've both overcome and they're still working for things. Yeah. I would totally support that, man. That'd be awesome. Cersei Lannister versus the Daleks. And I'm just going to say this right now. <laughs> shame, 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 shame. Obsession. obsession of Daleks just surrounding Cersei. You saw that, the, the whole shame. Spoiler the alert. No, it's not. It's all over the place. The yeah. word shame. Yes. You've heard the word shame, right? Yes. So, uh, Cersei and the Daleks. Shame. Shit. You gotta do the Dalek voice. I don't know how to do it. It's, it's been like, so long. Shh. You have to lay I rip it. I do not ship it because shame. Shame. I always want to do that at Plus Walmart the Daleks when they would... call people to the things. I want to steal microphones. Too. <laughs> Plus, like, the Daleks would want to, like, kill everything that's not a Dalek. Yeah, yeah. But Cersei's kind of heartless. All right, so I have Elias um, from An Ember in the Ashes, and I have Harry Dresden from the Dresden series. Um, and I think I ship it. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> um, Elias is, like I said, from the Ember and the Ashes, mm -hmm. and he's part of the military. Okay. Um, and, like, he's supposed to be trained to become an, a, a mask, which is, like, an assassin. Um, but he's very, like, I don't really want to do this. He's been trying to escape. Um, he's been wanting to escape, and Harry Dresden's kind of a rebel, so... Help him along, too. Yeah. Great. Alrighty. I got... Uh, Larry David, he's, he absolutely, Larry David and, um, together, because it will be, you know, a threesome kind of, uh, polygamous arrangement, Selma and, uh, Patty, uh, from The Simpsons, from The Simpsons, I absolutely ship that so much, uh, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know you'll edit part of that, you shipped it, but you ripped it, oh, <laughs> see, I'm not ripping the papers, my bad. Um, okay, so I have Juliet from the Shatter Me uh, mm -hmm. series, and I have Ismay Rien from uh, his Fair Assassins series. Trilogy? I think it's a trilogy. Um, so Juliet has, like, basically, you know, Rogue from X Men? Well, yeah, yes. she basically has that power where if she touches you, you she causes in like immense yeah. pain. Yeah. Um, and Ismay is a daughter of um, death. Mm. 
um, and she's part of like an assassin's organization, like a convent. This is back in medieval times, like 14 something something. Um, the thing about these two characters is they're both still very naive and have a lot of room to grow. So, so like I'd know. ship it and let them like lock them in a room and say figure it out. Throw some condoms in there. <laughs> some lady condoms. Oh, dental dams. <laughs> Boys and girls, Google it. Okay. I have, I have George Costanza uh, with Stannis Baratheon. I ship that so hard. I ship that too. Um, because, <laughs> uh, wow, it's the Festivus for Shireen, apparently. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I ship that. Are we getting there yet? This is going to be a long video. I don't care. It's going to be a fun one. All right, so I have Prince Maxon <laughs> from... Um, oh, what's it called? The Selection Series. And I have American Singer from mm. the Selection Series. Mm. Um, and I ship them so hard. Mm. It's like The Bachelor. Or, yeah, The Bachelor oh. meets, meets Hunger Games. Oh, actually, I would watch that. <laughs> yeah, if they killed The Bachelor at the yeah. end and the producers of the shows. So I ship mm. it. All right. What do I have here? It's uh, slipperier than I think. Right, okay. I have Rick Grimes, the, you know, the sheriff from The Walking Dead, uh, Crowley, King of Hell. Uh, I have to tell you, I've, I've met the actor that plays Crowley, Mark Shepard. I follow him on Twitter. Mm, actually, fantastic man, but uh, <laughs> I was uh, speaking with um, his co-star there, you know. Misha Collins, you know, I just chat. I'm being all chatting casual. It was, a, it was an autograph line. I'm just going to be honest. You all know how it was really like. It's not yeah. like some intimate thing. But it was late at night, and uh, Misha and I were talking a bit too long, and uh, Crowley yelled at me. The king of hell yelled at me to move it along because he wanted his dinner. And uh, on the show, when mm -hmm. he yells, I always used to think it was funny. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's absolutely terrifying in real life, and, and, and it was like a little bit like, oh! Yeah, well done casting him in that role. But uh, Rick Grimes is a douche. I hate him. Like, he's such a total douchebag. Is he bag. the sheriff guy? Yeah. Okay, so He's yeah. a total douchebag. He's, he's just like a... Whatever. I don't like him at all. Um, and I actually love Crowley. So, no, I do not ship it. Uh, Crowley deserves uh, someone else. Uh, you know, someone maybe the green eyes. I don't know. Whatever. All right. So I have uh, Warner from the Shatter Me series, mm -hmm. who's the like main villain guy so far. Yeah. Um, and then I have Louis, the point of light. <gasps> oh, and I funny. totally ripped this because Warner is a jerk. And we had a conversation earlier about actually how much we love Louis. Mm, Brad Pitt. Louis, Louis. Oh, wrong song, sorry. Okay, uh, <laughs> did you hear like rumor that they hung them upside down to get the veins popping out so they could draw them on more realistically? No, I, I don't know. I have no idea if that's true. Anyways, I have uh, Skylar White and uh, Sheldon Cooper. No way. Uh, first of all, Scholar's actually awesome and had to put up with all kinds of crap. And uh, the character of Sheldon Cooper is a. Um... I don't watch that show. Okay! <laughs> Alright, so I have Helene or Helen from An Ember in the Ashes, and I have Kale Westfall from Throne of Glass. And Ooh. they are very similar. Um, they're both, like, bound by duty, oh. and, um, Kale is, like, captain of the guard, of oh, yeah, the king's yeah. guard, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Helene, Helene is, uh, a mask. Oh, oh she, yeah, the, yeah, but she follows the assassins. rules, yeah, she follows the rules, and she's like, I'm gonna be the best. Um, so I, I ship this. A little connection going on. Oh, yeah. I noticed that a lot of times we ship them because we think their careers, they're and they're similar, like, their goals, like their ambitions. Similar. But in truth, similarities don't often mix well. Okay, so we've done all the couples, and there's one name in each of our 
um, container thingies. Yep. Um, and we have to ship it with ourselves because I ended up like putting 21 names and then I, and then I have the letter. So uh, uh, go first then. I'm no, just... you go first. Oh, oh first. that's right. I'm always first. Okay. Uh, Tyrion last, Tyrion last turp. Yes. Hella. Yes. This guy is still alive. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Tyrion. It's like one of the only people still alive, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, I'm very, very happy. Oh, yeah, Daenerys is still alive. <laughs> yeah, well, Daenerys is not in here. No. So she's off on a dragon somewhere, Another whatever. Dragons. I have uh, Gabrielle Duval, mm -hmm. which is, he is the bastard son of a duke in, okay. in Brittany, mm -hmm. which I've learned is in France. Um, this is from the medieval one, the Hesperia Assassins one, and I shit myself with him. I'd mm -hmm. have him, thank you. <laughs> I'd have him. I'd have thank him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's very, like, he, his sister is the legitimate daughter of the Duke, and so she's trying to become the Duchess, but uh, when her fa father was alive, he promised her hand in marriage to all these people, mm -hmm. and now that he's dead, and she's going to become the Duchess, which basically is the ruler of mm -hmm. Brittany. Everyone wants to cash in on that. Mm. And so he is trying to look out for her best interests. And yeah. Pretty good guy. Mm -hmm. I think Tyrion and I would uh, run the country. Uh, this guy's got some like mad survival skills. He's super smart. Not only that, he's fantastic at reading people and playing characters, like reading off social interactions. This guy knows how to survive at every moment. Uh, like how many times have we were like, uh, uh, and then no. <laughs> and then we're like, wait, what? He killed that. But anyways, Tyrion, survivor, I'm all about that. I think that's fantastic. Plus he's super interesting. I love Tyrion. I'm rooting for him. Him and Daenerys, you need to go all the way. Anyway, that is our rip it or ship it tag video. Uh, thanks for coming into my living room today, and uh, this was lots of fun. We're gonna make cookies now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, because it's fun. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.